welcome. I'm guessing you clicked this video because you saw one of those cool spiral photos and wanted to know how to make one. So I'm here to help. My name is Karen. I'm with CK Customs PA. I'm also an admin on the Facebook group Cricut Help Desk Unofficial. We're going to make one of those spiral photos and put it onto a shadow box. Let's go ahead and get started. First, you'll want to open up your internet browser and go to spiralbetty.com. You can see at the top that browser name is spiralbetty.com. Next, you're going to click into the large circle and choose your photo to upload. Once you've selected your photo, you'll see that you can move it around, up, down, you can zoom in and out to get it aligned just the way you want it. That circle is what's going to be made into the spiral. Once you have it where you want it, go ahead and click the check mark. They will automatically create that spiral effect for you. You do have a little wiggle room. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and make it black and white. That way it'll load best into Cricut Design Space. To do that, I'm going to go to the colors at the bottom of the screen and click the second one for black. You do have other adjustment options, such as this slider bar will increase or decrease the number of rings. While you decrease rings, it will cut easier. As you increase rings, the cut will become more difficult, but the image will be clearer. You need to find that happy medium. I'm going to leave mine right about there. You also have an option to scale, basically zoom in and out as you please on the photo. Once you have it where you want it, click this button here to download it. They remind you that this is for personal, non-commercial use. Next, we'll need to upload it into Cricut Design Space. To do this, go to Design Space, open up Canvas. On the left, click Upload. Click Upload Image and search using the Browse button for that image. I left it right in the Downloads folder where it came from, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it right out of there. You'll click complex and continue. Now we need to get rid of all the white and make that transparent. To do that, I'm going to click advanced options, reduce my colors to two, and then my color tolerance, I'm going to increase to a hundred. Now click on any of the white area and you'll see that your background has been removed. I do like to double check this before moving on. So I'm going to go ahead and click my zoom out so I can see more of the image. Scroll down a little bit. Make sure you're seeing that grid pattern as best as possible. You can also check it using this preview button at the bottom. That'll show you it as a cut. So what you don't want to see are large areas of just gray. That means there may still be some white in the image. I think this one looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and click continue. We're going to make sure we save it as a cut image. Name it as you please. Click upload. Now select it from your recent uploads and insert images. This will bring it right onto your canvas. From here, you'll need to adjust the size. Now I'm going to put it onto a shadow box. So I'm going to go ahead and change my width down to about seven inches and let the height auto adjust accordingly. That's it. Now we're going to go ahead and send it to the Cricut for cutting. Let's click make it. All right. I have the image on my mat. You'll not mirror if you're using adhesive vinyl. You will mirror if you're going to use HTV. Go ahead and click continue. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set my base material to vinyl. Again, this is going on a shadow box, so I'm just cutting regular vinyl. And now I'll meet you over at the Cricut to load my mat. All right, over here, we can see that I have my vinyl on my mat ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and load it into the Cricut. Make sure it's under both feet on the sides. Click my flashing load light with a little bit of pressure to make sure this goes in. 
and we're gonna go ahead and start cutting. I'll be back when it's done. Now that it's all done, I'm gonna go ahead and unload my mat. And I'll meet you back over at the table. Okay, welcome back. We're here at the table. I have my mat here that was just cut. I'm gonna go ahead and carefully remove this from the mat. Now what you don't wanna do is you don't want to pull it over itself. Instead, you wanna pull up and away from the mat. Use your other hand to keep the mat down. So I'm kind of walking my fingers underneath my vinyl. This is the best way to not create any uh, extra wrinkles, folds, curls in the material, and also get it off your mat safely without tearing. Just kind of working around it from all angles. All right, we have released it from the mat. I'm gonna go ahead and put my mat aside. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off some of the excess around my spiral that I do not need. trim this down before we cut it um, but I had not you can always save the extra scraps to use for other projects as well so I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside all right now we're gonna go ahead and find where to start and pull this up from so you have to look real close at your design to find where it starts you want to make sure you're pulling away the right portion so what you'll typically want to do is look for that end part. Let me see if I can find that for you. So I don't know if you're going to be able to focus and see that on there. We'll try it here too. I don't know if you can see those cuts at all because um, they hide very well. But find that outer end and then use your weeding tool and actually grab the negative area outside of it. So just making sure you're on that corner. And now gently start pulling that away. But you need to make sure that that starter, that lead piece does stay down. Now what I'm gonna do is, because this is sticky and I don't want it to accidentally grab itself, I am going to cut it um, so that part of it stays down and doesn't come up on both sides. I just need to make sure that I'm not accidentally cutting my design as well. So let's see here. I'm going to snip that right there. Okay, so right now I have... I'm kind of pushing back down some of the pieces that I don't want to come up with me. All right, so I'm going around in circles. So you can see it's going to leave an outer edge and start with the rest. Now it is going to be delicate and you may get pieces of lift that you don't want to. With your adhesive it's important you don't let it touch back down on itself. You don't want it to grab um, your design and get stuck to your design. And this outer piece got a little loose so I'm just trying to fix that um, before moving on. These are very thin lines. Okay, we'll fix the rest of that later. So I'm just going to kind of keep going, spinning around, pulling up and away. And it'll start coming pretty fast for you. to start seeing it like I am but if you look I'm here my husband is here there we go I have that fully weeded now I just need to transfer it on to my shadow box so 
I do have my shadow box. Here we go. I have already cleaned it with rubbing alcohol. And I have some transfer tape. So we'll go ahead and grab the transfer tape. I'm going to peel the backing off my transfer tape. I'm going to save that backing because you can reuse transfer tape. And that's a good piece here. So I'm going to use the taco method. Fold it up like a taco shell. See that here too? Taco shell. Let the center hit first. Then push one side down. I'm going to grab my squeegee and push the other side down. I'm going to go back to the center to push that first side down again. Always pushing out from the center. You're pushing out air bubbles. Okay. So you won't see me go across the whole thing. You'll see me center out. All right. Now we like to use gravity. So flip it over. Give it a little push down there. Especially around your edges. And let's see if we can use rolling back. So again, I'm not lifting up. I'm using gravity. I'm rolling the paper back to leave the vinyl on my transfer paper. Okay, you got that. Next, we bring in our shadow box. Make sure I have this uh, the right side up. So I just felt my hinge is up there. You've got your design, and again, taco method, find your center. So center vertically, center horizontally. Taco letting the center hit first. And now I'm gonna reach for my squeegee. And again, center out. I'm gonna push away the air bubbles. So I'm in the center, I am pushing out to let that first side go down, out. And now the second side from the center out, pushing out the air. All right, give it a little more pressure. Again, center outward, center out, up here, center out. And then just like how when we picked up the vinyl onto the transfer paper, we want to do that same method. So we're doing a roll back off. Not a lift up, but a roll back. Alrighty, and there we have it. Let's go ahead and switch screens for you. All right, I know you're seeing the reflection of the screen right there, huh? Okay, so we have our spiral on vinyl on a shadow box. You can do them in whatever colors you want, whatever sizes you want. They also work great with HTV to put on the shirts, tote bags, whatever you may want. I hope this video helped. If it did, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks, happy crafting.